A metamaterial is a material engineered to have a property that is not found in nature. They are made from assemblies of multiple elements fashioned from composite materials such as metals or plastics. Initially used within the context of optics and electromagnetism, metamaterials could have unprecedented properties such as a negative refractive index. Nowadays, metamaterials may be designed to exhibit a wide range of mechanical properties, such as a negative Poisson's ratio. This brings us to a specific class of mechanical metamaterials, the oxidic mechanical metamaterials, which are probably the most widely studied. Oxidic mechanical metamaterials have a negative Poisson's ratio, which makes them expand laterally in response to axial stretch. The re-entrant hexagonal honeycomb is well known for its negative Poisson's ratio and can in this case be used to design an oxidic metabiomaterial. This structure can be very useful in the field of orthopedics when combined with a conventional metabiomaterial with a positive Poisson's ratio. Conventional hip implants may fail through wear particle-induced osteolysis. Articulation of the joint causes wear of the acetabular cup. The resulting polymer particles travel through the joint space and may lodge in between the bone and the implant, finally leading to inflammatory bone loss. Once the bone is gone, the implant's fixation may become inadequate. The aforementioned hybrid combination of a conventional and an oxidic metabiomaterial may be the solution. Loading of this new meta implant will in this case compress the conventional metabiomaterial and stretch the oxidic metabiomaterial, which will result in compression of the surrounding bone along both of the implant's contact lines. This does not only prevent wear particles from entering the bone implant interface space, it also stimulates bone growth and decreases the chance of bone implant interface failure according to Hoffman's criterion.